G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia, and I believe it is your morning now when I release this, and it's Victory Monday, Victory Monday, my Tuesday, Victory Tuesday, uh, the score is still there, Steelers won 17-10, crazy game as always, right near the end, we hang on, TJ Watt sack, JPJ interception, George Pickens 41 yard pass, but there's still a big question, and that is the Steelers have a big, a big, big, big uh, decision to make, right? I believe over the next few days, one or two days, and the buys coming up, if they don't move on from the great white north, the guy up, the guy up top, being the guy with the glasses, and this guy, I, I, I'm just, I'm sick of saying his name. I really am. Let's try and do a whole episode or a video without saying his name. If the Steelers don't move on from, not this guy, Professor Oak, right? That's not Oak. Oak's fine. Oak's cool. This bloke here. If they don't move on from this bloke here with the glasses and the hat, I believe they have like a, a big choice decision to make. It's like, okay, players aren't playing well. Kenny Pickett's not playing well in certain parts. They can't run the rock here. Najee, Najee isn't getting put in the best situations to run the rock. And also guys are coming down into the box. Yada, 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 yada. Like there are things going on. Pickens played well today, uh, that being yesterday, now Victory Monday. But there's a common denominator, which is this bloke being MC, right? And we've seen this before. He's like 26, 20, he's like 26, 28, 30th. You know, things are really bad. And they're probably even worse now being 32nd. It's just poor. The offense is overall poor, scheme, preparation, um, execution, all that stuff. So I believe, like a lot of guys out there, that the Steelers have to make a choice. Do you keep this bloke, MC, throughout the entire season? Like, it's going to happen around the bye. Next few days, I believe it's going to go. You're going to hear Tomlin um, speak about weighty downs or speak about, you know, not at this juncture or something like that. But in some code talk from Tomlin or whoever it may be through, if it's Omar Khan, if he gets up there or if it's a Rooney's, they'll, they'll let you guys know, Steel Nation know, if they're going to remove him, we'll see sources and we'll go that direction if they remove him. Or if they don't, they'll go the other direction. But at some point, the Steelers have to make a choice to go all in with MC, Great White North, up top Canada, uh, the place where Chase Claypool comes from now being traded to the Miami Dolphins, right? Go with him all the way in for the rest of the season. And at the end of the season, you find someone new, a new OC, I don't know who, but something's not working right now. You either stick with him and go all in, or on the other side of the coin, you flip a coin. You know what? Maybe you flip a coin. Maybe it's heads, Canada stays, tell he leaves. That's what it kind of feels like. If they do break the tradition of like Steelers, I know it. Steelers don't fire head coaches mid-season. I know all this stuff, but I feel like they're going to have to make a big decision if they go all in with Canada and he stays and they've got to figure it out, and they have to run the rock and score points. Because today, or yesterday, being victory, Monday, right, it was pretty tough to watch. Scoring only three points in the first three quarters, then Chris Boswell comes out and scores uh, field goals, uh, one near the end to extend it to 17 uh, to 10, uh, which we have down the bottom here, 17 to 10. That's, that's all we had, right, was three field goals, a safety, and one TD, with a 41-yard pass. So the Steelers can either choose to keep him, go the whole season, and you have to get better than 32nd, 30th, 31st, or whatever it may be, or they cut ties. And at this point, in my personal opinion, what I would do, what I want to see, is if they cut Canada, at least you have an escape goat to be like, okay, cut. Now we can start fresh. You're probably going to use some of the same plays some of the same playbook. Maybe Glenn Thomas comes in there. Um, is it Sullivan, the the OC, the, the quarterback's coach? Maybe he becomes offensive coordinator. Someone's got to step up and take control of the reins and move this offense to the next level because they haven't really got past the first level yet. If going from zero to 100, they're zero to 20. It's not happening, right? So maybe they get O'Sullivan or Glenn Thomas or whoever it may be. There's also, there's also some footage out there too, not reports, but actual footage where you see Pickens got the 41-yard pass and Matt Canada is the only one not celebrating. 
Don't know why. I'm not going to read too much into it. It's just a bloke, you know, half the room's cheering and it's a crazy play. It's like almost a game-winning touchdown and he's not cheering. Does that mean it wasn't his play? Was he happy, not happy with the call? Did Kenny go against his word? I don't know. This is all dramatization stuff that will come up out of this. But the big question is, and the Steelers have a massive uh, choice, decision to make is, will they keep Canada uh, around the bye? And if they keep him, he's all in. They're all ready to go. They're going to keep him for the rest of the year. And at the end of the year, they make a choice. If he's the OC, if they extend him. Or on the flip side, do the Steelers cut him, fire him, let him go and start fresh with a new OC, with similar playbook, similar plays, but at least it's someone new. And can we salvage the season? Because the Steelers' defense played pretty well in spurts. Like TJ Watt, Highsmith played pretty good. And Ogan Joby had the punch. Uh, JPJ needs to play more snaps. This team can be good, but it's it, need, it, it can be good. And there's a possibility to be great if they move on from a guy like this. But we all know that. We've been talking about this for ages. Anyways, guys, that's it for the, for the morning video. Uh, later on today, I might do a live and say hello for the Victory Tuesday in Australia and Victory Monday. It's a good feeling. It should feel good. Steelers are winning the AFC North at the moment. They won the game 17-10. But my view is, do they keep Canada right now? The big choice, the big decision? Or do they cut Canada, fire him, and move on and bring someone else in or replace him with Glenn Thomas or uh, is O'Sullivan the quarterback coach? Anyways, that's the big question that's going to be looming over the next few days. I'll see you later.